He was like a, he was like a like a vintage painting, like a Victorian painting. He was beautiful. It was just oh, great perfection. Mm -hmm. Smash Four Marth until they buffed him. He was terrible. It's like Soccer. I said, Hey Marth, hold the sandwich. And Marth is like, oh, Sure, I guess. And then they buffed him. He was like, All right, cool. I like hold the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Anyways, enough about Marth. We are seeing one of the links here, and we are seeing. Well, actually, we'll, we'll see. We'll be seeing these two characters that we should be meeting. Uh, Young Link and Lucina, both kind of like Young Link is more of the Echo Fighter of the Smash Four Link. If you guys remember that, and then of course Lucina is the real character because Marth is just Lucina's Echo Fighter. Let's be realistic, yes. Yeah. Feels bad. Okay, so. This matchup here is very winnable by how well you can effectively zone your opponent mm. and how well you understand your opponent's approaches here. As Link, your bo boomerang is really good at stopping uh, opponents from approaching in the air mm. and from doing regular, regular approaches. You want to condition your opponent to just hold the shield as much as possible so you can go for grabs. And not only that, start to pressure the shield. Oh, you, so you from, take that like a god. Oh, nice. So from talking to Zan about this specific matchup, he told me that essentially what it comes down to is Lucina just needs to get, walk in right close enough that Nair stuffs out everything. <gasps> Yo, that would have been money, yeah. but unfortunately, man, you bet on the wrong table. Yeah. So anyways, right, that was, all Lucina has to do is just walk in to, until she gets close enough that she can Nair everything that Young Lin does. Yeah, you can like... Nair stuffs out everything. You can cross up Nair and all that stuff. And you yeah. have like, the only thing that Lucina doesn't have that Mark does have is like, Sour spot combos because we've seen this power is from within the sword, so she can't do like up air to forward smash, up air to back air, things like that at certain percent. She has to rely on just her basic fundamentals mm -hmm. and not only that, on how well the, the player can actually use those fundamentals into a character, right? And basically understand like how much zoning you get with the sword. It sounds really counterintuitive to actually like play Lucina and then walk up to your opponent slowly because you have projectiles in your face, but you're kind of right. Like, you want to make sure you get cross up in the air. You want to make sure you're able to just snuff out any of his, like, any of his uh, projectiles because Link does have a lot of that startup. Like, right there, you actually stopped him from going from Boomerang. Right, right. But at the same time, Karus is also doing... Oh, good stuff out. I was going to say, Kairos is doing a really good job, too, of uh, mixing up the way he's using his projectiles. Because the most important thing here is how is how he's going to use Boomerang. Because Boomerang is the only thing that protects him from Lucina's, from Lucina, Lucina's aerials. Yeah. Exactly. So, as long as... Yeah, because if you see how he throws the Boomerang, like, throws it upward, yeah. Just like yeah. That upward to protect himself from... You, you don't want Lucina to approach with Nair and Fair, because, like I said, she can cross you up. Uh, she can just space out her fair, and then you know you're gonna try to go for an approach. Oh, oh this is so overzealous, but I respect right. it because there's I know, so I, much I damage like, on the shield. I it too. Oh, yo, man, Vlada never misses his mark. That's it. That's curtains, bro. Unless that bomb. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That, that bomb. You didn't have, you didn't have bomb. Yeah, he didn't have the bomb. He didn't have time. Bomb is like six seconds in this game, and it always only gives you a second of beat. That's all you. Yeah, you you never get like a jump. Bomb will explode, and you get a jump. Even you if you save your jump. If you save your jump, yes. But there's no reason to, because yeah, you're stalling. Cause you, yeah, exactly. Got it, got it. Okay. It only gives you a second up B. Especially for Link, if you actually stuff that in it as well. Got it, got it. This is like, Loki, the Dark Link colors in this game are my most hated colors. You hate the Link. I miss the black tunic from Melee. Like, in uh, Melee, had a black tunic and a white tunic. I miss those colors. I see, I see. But I understand, like, they wanted to replace it with Dark Link for a reason. So it's more accurate. Right. Good down throw, and I like the fact that he checks the landing to just go ahead and read on that. That's something that I feel that Valadin does really, really well. Is he always looks, he's always patient, and he checks his body flying. Right. Yeah, because he's doing a really good job too of being faced by the projectiles. Oh, like that. See, that's gonna that's be. It. Yeah. That's it. Just the counter. No, he actually can't no, recover. No, he no, had. No. Yeah, you're wrong. You're right. Sorry, you're right. He had the counter, and that was over. Yeah. Why didn't? You, all right. Let's see. Yeah. So Kairos can give him a second chance at light here. It's not even a homie stock, bro. It's just a homie save. Right. No, no, that's the gentleman's like, gentleman's matchup. I don't know. Oh, oh great tech. tech. Good air dodge too. Oh, wow, it didn't even matter. You know what? He should have been more content with being on the stage than just trying to throw a bomb and then confirm off of it. Mm -hmm. I get that you would have probably led to a corner carry, but at that point, like, just be content with, oh, I got on the stage, perfect. Mm -hmm. Let me work. Let me see what I can work with. Right. In the air to air, Lucino, I feel, can stuff out Link, Young Link. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, like you said earlier, right? You want to make sure like you have Boomerang so that Lucina gets conditioned, like, oh, I can't go for aerials. So then you're conditioning to just stay on the ground, and then you use you use arrows to stop their ground approach. Exactly, because like the only time he's really getting punished with Boomerang is when he throws it straight forward. Because mm -hmm. when he goes straight, 
because then that just allows uh, Veladon to uh, second jump aerial. Yeah. And he's been getting punished for that quite a few times. Like you notice, he's only going for these aerials when he's that close to Link. Like, yeah. like you said, right? Like Zan told us. You have to really use Lucina's sword when you're that close. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. now, good angle. Now he has a trap. No. I like Stand it. He, he, he covered. He, he should have stood more towards the ledge because he had the platform covered. So if Lucina would have chosen the platform and that was covered, then you're done to just limiting four options. That was good. Okay. That bomb was a good save. <laughs> that was, ah, that was, was like risk. That was playing with oh. the devil. Okay, so Kairos needs to like stop panicking when uh, Valon gets up close into his face. Yeah. He, yeah, exactly. He keeps throwing projectiles he, right up in his face and he gets punished every time. And there's cool, there's startup. That's the problem with those yeah. projectiles. They have startup. They're, they're actually really good at a range, but that's the thing. They're at, they're at a range. You want to play mid range to long range with those projectiles. That's what your that's what your bread and butter goes for. But if your opponent's like that close, it's like, all right, hold up. I don't have time. Uh -huh. And the funny thing is that Veladin gave him space, so even then going for those projectiles, they would have—they seem so tempting, but they weren't the right play. So here's the thing about like the ledge play, like that shows me like Kairos has already lost this. Every time he gets um, Veladin off stage, right? Is he dead? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no, you never like to see that. No, you never like want to see it happen. But like the big thing that happened there was every time Kairos had him at the ledge, right? Rather than like holding shield and doing like the short hop nair like ledge trapping mechanic, yeah, he always like ran.